In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to install MC Capes. Like, uh, I have a video tutorial on how to install MC Capes, but this is a uh, more revised version where everything's like more cleaned up and all that because there's like some comments in the description of that video that's like, oh, I'm having crash problems and all that. So this uh, tutorial may help. Yeah, so this is a Forge modded uh, Minecraft. It should work if you don't have yours modded either. So once you have your Minecraft open, you can just close it. Uh, and then go to step one, which is MC Cape, which I already have done. So you control, so you copy that into your browser, which is here. So then you, you're brought up to this page. So you go to your download. Well, it's, it's, it's okay, you click download. <laughs> okay, and then you click this link. And should bring you to this page, which is AdFly. And then skip Add. And this is your uh, your downloads page. So it's, it's right here. So you MC Capes. Alrighty. So then you open your dot Minecraft. So to do that, you go to your taskbar and then you type in percent app data percentage and you press enter so if you dot minecraft you go to versions and here's my forge or you can go to your 1.6.2 uh, I'll tell you the difference between both of them like if you go to 1.6.2 you'll see your 1.6.2 jar and your forge there's a forge jar also so what's it what you do is either or of both jar, well in this case I'm using Forge, so you open your Forge with Spinrar, and if you don't have Forge, then just open your 1.6.2 for your, uh, yeah, for your 1.6.2 folder. So open Spinrar, you open your Forge, <coughs> okay. So once you have your Forge jar open with Spinrar, you delete your meta imp. Yes. Okay, and then you go to your. Do I have it open? E no, that's fixed one. Okay, so you go to your downloads right here. Yeah, double click it, and it should be one file inside. Just drag that. I'll show you where to drag it. Drag it doesn't matter as long as what well, as long as you don't drag inside the folder, like these folders. Just drag inside there randomly. And it should be there, okay. And then you open your Minecraft. So there's this thing where um Well there's this error where uh where you copy a the a code from YouTube and what it does is just doesn't copy it correctly. So I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show you um, what YouTube does. So you have, yeah, so once the, your Minecraft is loaded, um, well, if you have Forge, you'll select Forge. If you don't have Forge, you'll select your profile. So either or, yeah, it still works. Just choose your appropriate profile. So I'm playing with Forge. So you go to edit profile, and right here, the JVN arguments. So if I go to my uh, channel, uh, where is it? It's, uh, oh, that's not me, by the way. I don't know who on earth is that. Um, and you go videos. Okay, and then scroll down. Right here. So there's MC Capes 1.6.2, okay? So once I have that loaded, let's pause that so you don't hear double my voices. Yes, there will be. Um. Alright, so this is what you're supposed to copy. Here's the code. Okay. 
I'll do double slash and then I'll copy the code that's inside my uh, description and here it is here's the double code so you just copy and paste right so control C now I'll, I'll paste it inside inside uh, my notepad control V and as you can see there's a dash here that's that YouTube adds for some odd reason like right here you see certificates equals true this one ha adds a minus sign which is kind of odd like if I copy this thing control C and I add it to here so you add a space and then control V it will crash your Minecraft so all you need to do is just delete your minus sign from certificates like after the certificate you click save profile and press play Alright, so once your Minecraft is loaded and you have Forge, yeah, I won't show you in the mods folder, you have Forge, and this should work without Forge either. Like, you install the MCKs first and then Forge later. So, if we go to a multiplayer server, let's try uh, this one, the Pixmon server. Okay. And. So yeah, here's a fixed mouse server. Um, so you press F5, you have a cape, right? But if your cape doesn't show, you go escape options and your multiplayer settings, your cape show off. Okay, yeah, that may have been turned off. So all you need is click on, but if that also doesn't work. All right, so yeah, there's one option to turn cape on which is in multiplayer settings. And um, there should be another option. Like if you have Autofund installed, there's also a option to turn that cape on too. But since I don't have Autofund on, you may want to turn that on. So just watch out for that. Um, and yeah, that, then you should be good to go. And to change your cape, all you need to do is go to your MC Capes uh, page. Or MC Capes, yeah. Go to your MC Capes browser. And then type in your username. Da, da, da. And click next. And it should say create a password. You didn't have it if you didn't make a profile yet. And click login. Okay. And then to change your cape, you just go to cape gallery. And then select any uh, cape you want. Okay. Since I'm a Raichu, like my skin's permanent, I'm not going to change it ever. And yeah, let's search up Pokemon. And Latio, what are yeah, that's too blue. Brown. Ooh, nine tails, okay. So if you want to use this cape, you click use this cape. And then save option. Okay, and you should have this thing enabled too, like if you don't have it enabled then it won't show you show the cape in Minecraft, so have that checked and click save option. Okay and then go to your minecraft and okay so once you have that done just close your minecraft and reopen it If you guys are still having trouble, you can just uh, comment in, section, in the description below. And uh, if you guys want me to have another tutorial and just install it without Forge, I can do that too. Just comment in the description below saying that you need help just install without Forge. And I'll gladly do it. So I'll just show you if you log in. Uh, it, my cape just changed from a golden apple to a Pokeball. And we'll wait for it. Logging in takes forever because it's a modded Minecraft server. Press F5, and there we go.